in our sky is this one, Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it will extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous. It's very unstable. It's about to explode. Renowned scientist Brian Cox has just warned the world that Earth may be in imminent danger. The statement comes after a massive star called Betelgeuse is on the verge of exploding in a fiery supernova, an event that could devastate life on our planet. But how valid are these concerns? Could a cosmic explosion destroy Earth, or do we have enough time to prepare for this event? The Betelgeuse Astronomers closely observing the night sky have been particularly intrigued by Betelgeuse, a star that has garnered attention due to its unusual behavior. It gets so hot there, the temperature almost becomes meaningless. I mean, we're talking about a billion degrees in the center of one of these stars. When scientists directed the James Webb Space Telescope towards Betelgeuse, they made a noteworthy discovery that has sparked concern within the scientific community. This revelation, which has set off alarm bells, has captured the interest of experts like the renowned physicist Brian Cox. According to Cox, there is a looming possibility that Betelgeuse, an extraordinary celestial entity, might undergo a supernova explosion. Such an event could have significant consequences for Earth. Betelgeuse, standing out as a celestial marvel, is on the brink of transforming into a supernova. Its distinguishing features include its colossal size, surpassing our Sun by 700 times, and a mass approximately 15 times greater. This supergiant, often described as a cosmic mystery, exhibits irregular dimming every 430 days, creating large dark spots on its surface every six years. The parallels between these phenomena and sunspots on our sun, albeit on a much grander scale, have fueled the intrigue of researchers. Brian Cox and other scientists are particularly concerned about the implications of Betelgeuse's potential supernova explosion, raising questions about whether we are on the verge of a cosmic event that could impact our daily lives on Earth. Brian Cox issued a warning about the imminent possibility of Betelgeuse undergoing a supernova eruption, and such an event could have significant repercussions for Earth. In February 2021, this colossal star experienced an unusually dim phase, shining less brightly than usual, despite its immense size. Betelgeuse differs from our Sun in terms of energy emission, as it emits less energy per unit of surface area. This is attributed to its cooler temperature, around 3,500 Kelvin, compared to our sun's warmer 5,500 Kelvin. This temperature contrast sometimes causes Betelgeuse to appear dimmer than anticipated. Detailed images from the Hubble Space Telescope exposed patterns of gases and dust clouds on Betelgeuse's surface. The James Webb Space Telescope, along with the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, detected a light wave originating from the Orion constellation where Betelgeuse resides on the left shoulder of Orion. Additionally, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA Observatory in Chile, provided ultra-high resolution images of Betelgeuse's surface, offering a closer examination of its behavior. Scientists uncovered an expansive gas plume extending from the star's surface, likely a result of Betelgeuse's pulsations induced by the cyclical movement of hot and cool gases within the star. These pulsations generate star spots, areas with intense magnetic activities and cooler temperatures compared to the rest of the star's surface. These spots, believed to be significantly larger than Earth, directly influence Betelgeuse's brightness. The more star spots present, the dimmer the star appears, presenting an intriguing puzzle for astronomers to unravel. The recent detection of gravitational waves emanating from Betelgeuse has created considerable excitement within the astronomical community. The persistent dimming has been recognized as a telltale sign in the cosmic narrative of a star approaching the grand finale of its existence. Contrary to gracefully fading away, Betelgeuse seems all set for a supernova explosion. If such an event occurs, it would be akin to hitting the cosmic jackpot, providing invaluable insights into the mysteries of the universe. The Recent Explosion For over two centuries, scientists and astronomers have devoted careful attention to the study of Betelgeuse meticulously documenting its rhythms and movements. Notable disruptions in its behavior have been observed, underscoring the profound impact of this stellar phenomenon. Recent analyses from the TS, Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, and the Hubble Space Telescope Spectra suggest that while the outer layer may return to normal soon, the star's surface remains in a delicate state, 
awaiting the completion of the photosphere rebuilding process. In contrast to the coronal mass ejections of our Sun, Betelgeuse's recent surface mass ejections highlight a stark difference in magnitude. Over millennia, Betelgeuse has exhibited expansive growth, with its outer orbit potentially extending beyond Jupiter's. Betelgeuse is so big that if you were to place it in our own solar system, it would stretch to the orbit of Jupiter. The red hue signifies that it has reached a stage where stellar bodies deplete their hydrogen reserves, leading to core collapse and the outer layers puffing out. In comparison, our Sun is still relatively young, with an estimated 5 billion years before reaching a mature stage where its radius may expand to proportions reaching Mars's orbit. The ongoing debate about Betelgeuse's potential supernova includes speculations about its imminent end, or the possibility of tens of thousands of years left. The most recent supernova observed in our Milky Way galaxy was in 1604, with potential subsequent nearby supernovas hidden by atmospheric gas and dust. Instances like the Crab Nebula from a supernova in 1054 serve as remnants of explosive events. More recent observable occurrences include the 1987 supernova in the Large Magellanic Cloud and the Kepler supernova in galaxies beyond our Milky Way. Modern telescopes are better equipped to capture visible light and provide insights into how supernovae would appear if observed nearby. Infrared telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope extend beyond visible light, penetrating gas and dust to reveal celestial objects not visible with conventional telescopes. Apart from observing light, scientists employ specialized detectors to catch neutrinos and subatomic particles emitted by supernovae. These detectors, alongside instruments for gravitational waves, offer another dimension to studying these cosmic events. Supernovae fall into two main types. Type 1 involves a runaway nuclear reaction in a white dwarf star, while Type 2, known as core collapse supernovae, results from a star collapsing under gravity after running out of nuclear fuel. Type 2. Supernovae are particularly fascinating as they emit not only light, but also a significant amount of neutrinos. Neutrino emissions might even precede the visible explosion, allowing detectors to pick up signals before the actual event occurs. To enhance detection capabilities and provide an early warning system, astronomers have established the Supernova Early Warning System, SNOOS. This network consists of neutrino detectors across various countries, including Antarctica. SNOOS aims to automatically alert astronomers if galactic supernova neutrinos reach Earth, offering valuable data for studying the event. The upcoming SNOOS 2, Zero seeks to improve triangulation capabilities. Advances in neutrino science since the 1987 supernova presents the potential capture of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of neutrinos by a global detector network during a galactic supernova. If a collapsing star forms a black hole, the sudden stop of the neutrino stream could signal this phenomenon. Astronomers could identify potential black hole locations by observing blank spaces in lists of known stars. While massive stars undergo captivating supernova explosions, their proximity to Earth raises safety concerns due to potential dangers if an explosion occurs within a specific minimum safe distance. Evidence of a starburst around 3 million years ago near Earth has been discovered through the presence of radioactive iron atoms in lunar cores and deep ocean samples. These unique atoms are traces of supernova explosion remnants, enabling scientists to study the nuclear processes driving exploding stars and uncover events predating recorded human history. A nearby supernova, like one that occurred close to Earth, likely released significant radiation throughout Earth's history. Despite these cosmic challenges, life persists on our planet. Additionally, supernovae aren't just spectacular light shows, they pack serious power. A single supernova can outshine our moon, and recent research has uncovered some eye-opening findings. Turns out, certain supernovae don't just stop at putting on a dazzling display. They can potentially interfere with a planet's ozone layer, exposing life to seriously harmful radiation from our very own sun. While these events may seem far away, the initial burst might blind us with visible light, and the real danger lurks in the shadow's cosmic rays. While the chances of a close supernova posing a direct threat are slim, there's evidence from the past suggesting that a supernova might have played a role in a prehistoric extinction event. Fossils hint at a connection between a supernova and some crispy plant spores from around 360 million years ago. What do you think? Could a supernova explosion of Betelgeuse cause problems for life on Earth? Let us know in the comments below.